It's Steve Martin here from sidemounting.com. I'm just going to give you guys a good tip on what you can carry inside your side mount pouch. Cable ties. You can pretty much fix lots of items with cable ties. So I tend to keep several in my pouch. Maybe 10, 15 is a good idea. So we can talk about mass straps breaking and fin straps breaking. This fin strap I'm using is actually a custom made one. Uh, it's pretty cool. I like a bungee fin strap. Tends to prefer that than all the, the buckles. Um, they last a lot with wear and tear, given it's two pieces of bungee. Anyway, what you can do is you can take these cable ties and you can see here, loop some together. And you make like a concertina of them, which goes all the way around. Now, it might be a little bit difficult in the water to do that. You'd have to have a stationary object to hold on to or be good with your buoyancy or have a teammate fix your fin for you. But this would be a way that it'd save finning with one leg and possibly losing that fin if you tried to keep it on the foot. You could just, like you see here, loop these cable ties together and you can attempt to make a fin strap. Now, it's unlikely that a strap, you know, breaks when you're in the water. It's more likely it happens when you're on a dive boat. So when you're on this dive boat, your fin strap breaks. This is a quick and easy thing you can do to actually save a dive if somebody didn't have a spare fin strap suitable for your fin. You could just take the time to do what I'm doing here. Then you can also cut the ends away. And here you go, it's pretty easy. You just slide your foot in. and you tighten up the cable ties. Now as a cave diver, I definitely want to have all my equipment perform equally well at the worst point of the dive, which could be all the way inside the cave system and I need to swim my way out. So I need things to be as efficient as when they started. And this makes the fin as efficient. So you can see here, pretty good but it's just like a normal fin strap would. Now let's take a look at the mask. So I'm using a, a neoprene slap strap here. Uh, I quite like them sometimes. I find they slide off sometimes when you make a deep water entry from a boat. So, you know, maybe you prefer the standard rubber strap. So you just put a couple of cable ties in each end and then maybe you need another three or four depending on the length of your cable ties of course. Don't pull them all the way, just put on a little bit. Again, this could be done in an extreme emergency underwater if you didn't have a backup mask. Good idea to carry one. Um, but uh, if you're on a dive boat and it really had to, you know, save a dive, I would certainly consider doing this. So there you go, carry cable ties and uh, also carry a side mount pouch. I discuss absolutely everything that I carry inside my pouch to save a dive or what I think you should have in there um, if you're doing any big boat trips or anything. Now, these are all available in my online training videos, which you can find all the details on sidemounting.com. I hope you've enjoyed this video and thanks again to everybody who's invested in my online training videos so far. Uh, it's much appreciated and I look forward to bringing more in the future. Cheers guys.